Hi everyone, this is Stuart. I just want to talk you through today how you can turn a flat 2D image into a 3D box art. So, what you want to do first and foremost is head over to the Facebook group where I have prepared a file for you. It's a Photoshop PSD file, um, which is a template for the box art for the Commodore 64 specifically. There are more templates for other box art for other systems that I'll be adding, but today we're just going to look at the C64. So. This is the blank template that you'll receive when you open it up in Photoshop. You see at the top layer you've got um, kind of a glossy image. Keep that as the very top layer, so top of that list on the right hand side. And that'll make sure that whatever image you put behind it, it'll give it that kind of glossy effect. What you then need to do is navigate to your folder where you've got your 2D box art images. So we just pick any image out of here. So championship sprint. Then what you want to do is you want to line it up with the left side first of all uh, if you press control and plus you can zoom in a little so you can make sure you get that right to the edge and then if you press control and zero it'll pop you back out to the full screen and then use the arrow in the middle simply drag the top left corner to the top left point and then do the same with the bottom drag in the bottom left corner to the bottom point then you want to adjust the width so we'll drag this across here, get it to the edge of the box, to the point you're happy with. Now you right click and select skew. Now you can just move each corner up so it gets the angle just right with the box art. So you can see now we're taking that 2D image, hit enter to confirm it, and there you go. It's turned it into a 3D box art image. So what you need to do is to save that. Um, make sure you save that as a PNG file, not as a JPEG. If you save it as a JPEG, it will keep the background in this grey. Um, I say make sure that you've got the um, layer for the glossy effect on the top of that list on the right hand side. Save it as a PNG file into wherever you want to save it. Um, what I'm also doing as I'm saving them is I'm saving them as the matching name for the ROM dot cover dot PNG. So that's saving them in the format that's ready for Retrobox TV so when Retrobox TV is ready to go I'll have converted um, all the images for all the C64 games that I want and I can just dump them in and it will auto scan and auto pull the art through in a 3D box art manner so that's pretty much it I mean as I say you can do it for many other systems as well um, so essentially it's exactly the same process what I've done for the side of the um, case it's just taking a small image and then exactly the same process just dump that image in there and then shrunk it down to the side of the frame um, of the cassette or the DVD case whatever it needs to be twist it to the side um, and then save that so yeah that's all you need to do and that's how you can turn a 2d box art image into a 3d image enjoy